So we saw this eagle drop a feather. Oh, what a feather! And Seamus is obsessed with it and wants to go take, go get the eagle feather. So. So since he's driving the boat, apparently I'm going to shore so that I can get this eagle feather for him. Oh, it's clean. It's clean. Just a straight ledge, so I can't get to it from here. So, Seamus is out in the boat, and I'm going to try to figure out a different way down. Okay, so I finally made it down, now I just have to search this cliffside for the eagle feather. <laughs> there were slugs on it. So that actually only took like 12 seconds to find it. <laughs> so I guess it wasn't that bad. Put this eagle feather down my suit. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get back on the boat. to understand in the states why an ambulance would have the phone number for 911 on it when it seemed like everyone who's able to drive or even see an ambulance should know 911 is what you call and then now <laughs> now I understand I would never have known what to dial here in Norway if it wasn't for this wonderful ambulance There are no trips for me to be taking people on hiking. I can't really just go to a town where there's anything I might want. So it's a little bit lonely. I have my reindeer friends, the Norwegian fishermen. There's the people that also work here in the center, but their jobs are far more busy than mine. And so they are all off doing stuff. Otherwise, tomorrow is July 4th. I see everyone back in America celebrating all weekend long. And I'm just here. <laughs> with no celebration. Normally I'm super ultra hyper against taking video of uh, firework shows, but I'll allow it this year. So if anyone wants to send me a 10 second clip, no more, of a good part of a firework show, which it might be an oxymoron, um, then yeah, you can do that. All right, do you want it? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. No. Okay, so the last peanut butter I tried, not very good. So we're gonna try a different peanut butter today. There aren't very many options though, so I'm kind of limited. So I'm actually starting to struggle a little bit um, with not hearing anything from my bag. I'm trying to hold on to hope because of just how long it took me to build that kit of gear and it fits me well and it um, works well with my trips and I just don't even have to think twice about it. I, I just know what I need, I pack it all, I take it and I know how to use it on the trail. and. Uh, it's kind of hard for me, the idea of giving all of that up. It's just disheartening because I don't know what to do with it. Um, I don't know, I'm just frustrated. 
I think I'm just starting to feel vulnerable without anything here. It's too expensive to replace that all of that gear while I'm here. I don't have that kind of money. And if I can't even hear from the company about my bag in general, how would I ever hear back from them about getting reimbursed for them losing my bag? So I really don't know what to do and I'm starting 